Hey, Mark here again. Um, I'm going to do a video on scale factors next, but I thought it would be neat to have a topo map in the background. So let's take a second and make a topo map. Uh, we're in Browns Park, so we're going to search for... This will get us close to where we're at. I'm using all topo maps, which is the product that we make here at, all, at iGauge. It has the advantage of making IMD files directly. So let's see, we're going to be working right up here on the flat above the John Jarvie Ranch. And we're going to retrace this west line of section 14 here. So if I had that picture right there in my data collector, it would make it pretty straightforward. So to do that, all I need to do is select Edit, Export Map to Clipboard. And uh, I'm going to export the viewed map. Uh, I've got temp section 14. Let's change the name uh, to uh, section 14 Browns Park. And we'll change the type to an IMD. And click on Save. Our output projection needs to be state plane. I'm going to work in Utah Central survey feet and I'm going to open that 83. Um, everything else should be fine so we'll click on export. All topo maps will take that image break it into sections and so we're good to go there now and now we need to take that map and copy it into our data collector. So to do that Bring over this, go to temp, and uh, section 14. There's a bunch of uh, bitmaps here that comprise the tiles for that coverage. I'm just going to take the whole folder, right click on it, and choose copy. And then here's my mobile device. I'll browse the contents for it. And I'll go to the storage device where there's plenty of room and paste that whole folder onto my mobile device on the storage disk. Close all these extra windows here. We can come over to our device here. We click on the map button in the upper right corner. I'll do that again if you don't know where that is. It's this world button up in the upper right corner which takes you to the map view. And then you click on tools, image overlays, Check on the Use Image Database, and then we'll click on the button to select it. I'm going to navigate up to the root of the storage disk, and here's section 14. There's two items here for the type. There's IDBs and IMDs. Altopo makes an IMD, so we'll click on that and open it. If you click this box, Save Image Boundary Points, it will add a waypoint to each of the corners of the resulting map. And that's sometimes handy if you need to uh, uh, zoom in. So let's see, we'll push this button. We can zoom to the extents. And you'll see there's the extents of my project. And we're good to go here. We've got a topo background map. And I believe, no, we're down here at the section corner, the southwest corner. So uh, you can see where we are on the map here. I'll zoom in a little bit. And uh, we're good to go for the next demo on scale factors.